How's it going, guys? Making a little video of both these uh, two 17.2 amp hour 12 volt batteries that I have wired into my 540 watt UPS. I take took the cover off, allows it to breathe better. There's a transformer there and a bunch of stuff in there. But these, a friend brought them to me. He found them in the recycling. <coughs> and when he brought them to my house, they're holding about 10 volts. 10 volts each. So when I saw 10 volts, I thought, yeah, I might be able to restore 10 volts. I, I got a third one of these that was at 8 volts. And the 8 volt, I was not able to restore. Uh, these batteries are only like 3 years old or something like that, the date on them. So the first thing I did was I popped the tops off. I added, uh, well, I tried for the first time. I've been watching some YouTube videos with Epsom salts and all that stuff. I really didn't really believe it. And then, so I decided to try it. Why not? These are junk batteries. So I put Epsom salt in all the batteries, filled them up, took a lot of water. And then I left the caps off while charging at a high high voltage about 16 volts for uh 12 hours and they're bubbling and it actually uh a bunch of access water came out i did this all in my garage and after that i was able to put the caps back on because there's no longer too much water in here if i charging at 14 to 15 volts it's not gonna spew out any more water or anything like that because it's already boiled the access out but now these batteries both together are sitting at right now I already used them last night they're still charging at 26.6 volts and I have my laptop here and I have a game running and I'm going to unplug it I took I disabled the beeper on the UPS, but as you can see, my voltage is going down. I am running this, and it. I've only tested this up to uh, two and a half hours, but two and a half hours went by, still powering this thing. It still had uh, twenty three point five volts, and this laptop takes about uh, one hundred fifty to two hundred watts, depending on how extensive the uh, load of the game is. But, uh, so I successfully restored these batteries, which impressed me. I didn't think uh, I could restore them to such a full capacity like these are. These actually will give me 17 amp hours each, which is extremely surprising. Um, yeah, so... If you get a battery that's not too old, I don't think this would work on a 10-year-old battery. You would not get it to the state where these are now. But uh, I just thought I'd share my uh, few successes. This is a 200-watt heater. I'll even turn that on. It's also plugged right here. Oh. Here's the plug cord here. It comes up here. And here, you can look at my volts now with the heater on. I'm down to 23.5 volts. I don't. I probably won't leave this on for too long because uh, there's no actual cooling in this thing. It's all passive. So I'm actually more afraid of this thing overheating before these batteries die. So this is just for my laptop, pretty much. But anyways, thought that was pretty neat. And. Uh, it is doable. So if you find scrap batteries and you find them over 10 volts and they're not too old, the chances of you being able to restore them are fairly high, I think. I got uh, two out of three, so. Okay, thanks for watching.